tend to find that rear wheel drive isn't the best of assets in the ice or snow. So we need to get rid of the ice and snow in order to get back on our driveways. That's when we need a drop spreader. Great for being able to distribute salt in the winter, but then conversely in the summer months, you can use it on feeds, you can use it on um, deposits for seeds, um, fertilizers, weed killers, residual key weed killers, selective weed killers. Not all gardens are the same size as we find out here, as you know yourself at home. So we've got a whole variety of different drop spreaders and spreaders in order to accommodate the different demands and challenges both throughout the year, but also throughout the gardens that we're working on or looking after. And that's where Handy comes into their own because you've got Greenworks under Handy, but then if you need all the accessories and components to look after your Greenworks tools, they've got you covered. And then if you need those selective and slightly more niche products, they're there as well. This is a case in point being the range of drop spreaders here. All of these spreaders are easy to use, easy to assemble, most of which only need, I think, five or six bolts to assemble. Others come flat packed and you need a team of mechanics to assist. You also got variable drop as well and distribution. So you don't just put everything down in one hit. You can, depending on what it is you're sowing, what it is you're feeding, what it is you're weeding, you can selectively adjust the grain of how much you're putting out onto the ground. If you go hell for leather, you can do, especially in the winter, if you just want to get that salt on the driveway and get this and the snow gone, you can do so. Really lightweight, easy to use, really good fun to use as well. Satisfying watching that distribution, that even distribution of granules going out across the materials. And you'll also notice as well, when you come and have a look at and, and get closer up, the grills on here as well just to stop any larger materials getting down and clogging up so preventing you from getting a jam by maybe you've got some uh, argument's sake fertilizers got slightly more damp clumps up you can jam the distribution we're avoiding that by having the grills at the top as well so we know we looked after top to bottom ergonomic lightweight easy to use uh, articulated wheels on these we've also got the seed and hopper spreader here as well great for looking after areas of lawn domestically, but also sowing new areas of lawn as well with seed. So chuck it into the bowels at the top, set your distribution level and off you go, sprinkle evenly, effectively, which otherwise is quite a difficult job. If you're looking at um, doing it yourself domestically, it means just gathering things up by cup fall and to work slowly across the ground. You can speed up the process and make sure you do the job properly. Um, again, more slightly more trade orientated at the back again, in terms of the drop spreaders. Trucks and trailers, if you have somewhere like this, these are a must. Moving material, moving tools to the work site as a tradesman. A lot of the time though, sadly, if you've ever bought one of these, you'll encounter a major issue at some point and that's something gets in the wheel and that's the trolley ruined because trying to get replacement tires for a another type of trolley can be quite difficult. Don't need to worry about that because you can take these over and I have done nails, broken flint, broken glass, you name it, it will handle it. They are puncture-proof tires, but it doesn't reduce the portability and ease of use. Uh, most of these have a load capacity of upwards of 100 kilograms loaded, but you can still move that material almost with a couple of fingers. Easy to use, easy to operate and voluminous. Loads of space in here. So if you've got firewood, if you've got materials you need to move, if you've got compost deliveries, if you want to bar chippings or grass from one side of the garden to the other, you can move it, shift it easily, quickly and efficiently. All of these will also have the drop sides as well. So you're not just restricted to that area. If you've got slightly larger items that you want to transit across the garden, fence panels or long lengths of timbers, you can do those on the horizontal. Obviously secure those down when you do, but you can drop down the side gates in order to get larger components and larger mass on top of these. Upwards of 100 kilograms and up to around 200 kilograms. Wheels, puncture proof, size can drop down. Easy to assemble when it comes out of the box. Just a few screws, instructions always nice and clear and easy. And you don't have to worry about going over rough terrain or rough ground. So the virtue of Handy as a brand is it doesn't just stop at a single brand and the brands coalesce. So you can see here, we've got a Greenworks chainsaw, chainsaw rigged up in our sawhorse. So slightly posher sawhorse than I was allowed to use earlier on. So I'm gonna get my money's worth and give this a blast in, in the second one, so get my PPE. 
but we've got our Greenworks 16 inch 60 volt chainsaw loaded in to our handy log saw. It's got the blade guard cover, again, keeping you as safe as possible. And that will articulate down. I haven't got my PPE, so I'm not gonna start it. So in terms of operation, stability, and ease of use, it's not gonna get much safer than that. You are completely guarded from kickback, from the operational components of the chainsaw, and you've got the ease to be able to load. You're not having to take any of the burden of the log or secure that, it drops straight into the slot. And having that articulation and that pivot means that you're just gonna push down and let the tool do the work and give you lovely, even, regular logs. Then we've got your tillers, great for grounds maintenance, great for cultivating ground. There's a reason why it's called a cultivator is because you are going to allow the ground to be able to be cultivated. You're gonna break off that surface mantle, you can get rid of the weeds, you can get air into the soil because a lot of people forget that your soil is the business end of the garden. That's where all the magic's happening. The more we look after our soil, the better the plants above. So if we cultivate and enrich our grounds and beds and borders, with oxygen, with nutrient rich material that could be manure or broken down compost, and we're getting balance of moisture in there, the better the composition of the ground, the better the results above. So if you've got produce patches, if you've got allotments, if you really are into growing the best possible, then you are gonna to wanna to take advantage of your cultivators. Now options are a plug-in one, so that's mains powered, which you can run off the standard 240 mains. And then also you've got your ideal for things like allotments. You've got your petrol powered cultivator stroke tiller. So not like a rotavator where you're gonna go out and break ground and turn ground in. It's gonna slightly more lightweight in that respect. It will still turn through areas of lawn turf here, but for more intimate areas or larger areas of beds and borders, and as I mentioned previously, allotments, getting the best balance and composition out of your soil as a gardener is essential. And these are the tools that if you're getting on a bit or maybe like me, you've got backache or you just don't want to have to expend too much energy or effort breaking ground, absolute blessing, especially on those wetter waterlogged areas of soils and beds and borders. Log splitters, I mentioned once you've cut your logs, it's harnessing those, it's cutting those up, it's splitting those. And as macho and as fun as it looks, cutting through logs with an ax, it soon gets boring. And as soon as my wife goes in, that's where I wish I had something like this around because it's a hard, heavy, sweaty, tends to be in the middle of winter, you're doing this as well. So you're out in the cold, you can just load this and the splitter is gonna do the work for you safely and effectively. So once you've dried your material, once you've got your material, instead of having to take an ax to it, you could load it, do it yourself. Again, slightly more um, select in terms of their need, but I think a lot of people nowadays are investing in log burners. They're an efficient way to heat the home. What isn't efficient is the cost of logs. So anything you can do to harness, or if you, you know somebody in the know, tree surgeons, etc., or if you've got areas of ground that need maintaining, putting that material to good use, this is the easiest way you're gonna be able to do so.